Welcome to my SU News Channel. Royal Expert Reveals Great Threat to Out-of-Step Monarchy The out-of-step British monarchy needs drastic reform to stay relevant in modern life, a royal historian has said. Dr. Ed Owens believes King Charles III needs to dispense with much of the pomp and ceremony and make the institution more transparent in order to win over disengaged younger generations. He argues that it is time for the royals to lead by example on issues close to the heart of UK political life rather than acting as global ambassadors. The royal author has set out a bold plan for the monarchy's survival as a relevant institution in the transition period to the king's reign following the death of Queen Elizabeth II in September 2022. The great threat to the monarchy at the moment is that it becomes redundant, he said. After that comes abolition which will only come when the institution is deemed to have so little value it's not worth keeping. While we are not there yet, it does seem out of step with public concerns. At the moment William and Charles seem preoccupied with trying to present themselves as global statesmen on the theme of climate change and environmental issues. There are a lot more issues closer to home that British people care about more deeply right now which are having an everyday impact. This relates to transparency in public life and the quality of our elected representatives. I set out a concrete program for change after the death of Queen Elizabeth that would enable the monarchy to make itself a more transparent, more accountable organization. Part of the impetus has to come from the royals themselves, in keeping with the broader desire for a change in public life among the younger generation in the UK. Prince William was in New York this week at a summit for his signature project the Earthshot Prize, which is aimed at providing innovative solutions to the greatest environmental challenges. Meanwhile, King Charles and Queen Camilla undertook a three-day state visit to France, which started on Wednesday with a grand dinner at Versailles attended by more than 150 guests. Dr. Owens, author of newly released After Elizabeth, Can the Monarchy Save Itself, believes that the royal's fortunes lie closer to home in a country where the political climate has been dogged by years of political turmoil and wrongdoing in public life. His tonic for Buckingham Palace includes no more private jets while championing environmental causes, an end to minor royals in grace and favor homes and an opening up of the family archives. I argue that the king, by embracing a new role as a trendsetter in democratic politics emphasizing things like transparency, integrity and accountability, can set a very good example to the rest of our democratic system, Dr. Owens said. There is a lot of secrecy surrounding the royal family which is largely hidden from public view and relates to the way they operate their archives and engage in constitutional politics. A lot of the secrecy could be done away with, and this would appeal to the young generation who are more transparency conscious. There is also an opportunity to downscale the monarchy and make it a more modest, forward-looking institution. A remarkable divide in how the different generations view the royal family has been tracked by YouGov. Overall, 62% of Britons say the UK should continue to have a monarchy, the pollsters said earlier this month. However, this drops to 37% among 18 to 24-year-olds, compared with 80% of the over 65s. Over the last 10 years support for the institution has significantly diminished among particular groups in society, most notably the younger generations and the under-25s, Dr. Owens said. Support has also diminished among the under-40s. This is not just about the state of the monarchy but about wider social attitudes. We know that since 2008 those generations have been particularly poorly served by British politics because the policies have been very much skewed towards an older generation. Just as we are seeing a decline in support for the monarchy, we can track that over almost directly to a loss in faith in democratic politics among the same age groups. There is something deeper here at work which is potentially fatal to the institution. The royals will be praying for a turnaround in public life and that things get better for the young generation, possibly with a change of government. I also think they can reach out to the younger generation, doing things that resonate with their ideas and beliefs and making the monarchy more palatable. Buckingham Palace's challenges also include the continued distance from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, three years since the couple stepped back from royal duties and moved to California. It is extremely unlikely that there will be any comeback for Harry and Meghan in the short term, Dr. Owens said. But that's not to discount reconciliation in the longer term. After a bit more time things will settle down and there will be a natural easing of tensions, so they may yet play some kind of role. The challenge is that the relationship between William and Harry seems to be deeply embittered. The chances of reconciliation at this moment are far greater between Charles and Harry than between William and Harry. 
Dr. Owens, who is based in Paris, surveys the royal landscape in his blueprint for future-proofing the monarchy and ensuring it remains at the heart of British life in the 21st century. Pomp and ceremony, rituals, the royal's philanthropic and charitable work, turbulent media relations and the political nature of the monarchy are all part of the roadmap. The coronation of this year was very much a multicultural occasion but it still in many ways had all the imperial trappings of the late Victorian period in terms of its substance, Dr. Owen said. A more modern monarchy would be devoid of the pomp and circumstance and more in tune with the European monarchies. The book sets out in detail why much of that symbolism carries legacies of the past which doesn't sit comfortably with how a lot of people see modern Britain today. The fundamental question the book addresses is whether the monarchy should continue to exist in its current form or whether it is time it embraced radical change? Source, Metro.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.